So what's up guys, how you guys doing? Mario Bird here. I'm gonna um, go ahead and take a seat. So, so, like the title, why you do not want to brand yourself to your company name, the logos, the images, or anything like that, posting those on, um, on social media, tying those uh, to you, okay? Um, there's a lot of, I'm not gonna get into all the reasons why it, it's not a good idea to do that, but I'm gonna just get into a few main known, um, noticeable reasons why it's not a good idea to do that, okay? Um, one being that when you tie your name uh, to a company brand, okay, a big network marketing company, um, there's a lot of things that can happen. One, for instance, what if the company go out of business? And I know there's a lot of great companies that's been out there and they plan on being here for the long haul. You know, things happen. You know, um, there was one company that just just got shut down by the FTC, you know, just out of nowhere. And all those distributors for that company, they end up losing their income. And they're like, oh, man, you know what I'm saying? And if you're tied, and see, here's the thing. There's a few of them that, that tied that did just that. And all that content is out there, okay? And if they wanted to go back out there and change the links and the content, honestly, you could do that. And that can only go so far, but a lot of times the message will not be congruent with the link because it's t actually tied to that other company. You know, even if, you, I mean, the content is tied to that other company. You know, um, another, another reason why it isn't a good idea uh, to do that um, you may leave, okay? You may leave. What if the, I, I, I hear this happening all the time, you know, um, companies, they change the, the comp plan and it affect people's, you know, income. So they, they get upset and they're like, oh man, forget this. They leave, they go to another company. That's another reason why you don't want to do that. And then what do your people see? When they see that, you know, all the people that's been following you, knowing you up under that company, you know, it kind of make you look bad. And that's another reason why you don't want to do that. I heard a, another marketer say, um, they um, use this term, you look like a bunny rabbit. <laughs> you jump it from company to company. It's funny. You know, what happened to me personally, I was uh, with this company and the company ended up going bankrupt. You know what I'm saying? And yes, I tied myself a little bit uh, to that company. I had content out there, videos, they're still out there, you know? And I'm like, dang, you know, lost my income, lost, you know, so much. And it happened to a lot of uh, people um, that was in the company. We all lost lost our incomes. You know, things happen. The um, Sometimes the CEOs, the owners make bad decisions. Sometimes they take the network marketing at, um, network marketing um, part out of the company. They don't wanna do network marketing anymore. You know, that happens, I hear about it. It happens all the time. So overall, ultimately, when these things do happen, say the company you're with, it do, it, that do happen to you, you know? The thing is, if you haven't taken the time out to brand you, you are your company, not your company's name, not not the company itself you don't represent you just you're just a distribute just distribution distributor <laughs> for that company you know what i'm saying for that network marketing company you know you want to brand yourself so when you brand yourself you could go anywhere and you already have that up under your belt and you could just you know start from there so i hope that made made some sense and I'm going to give you guys the option if you want to know more information about how I was able to overcome, you know, uh, doing this by branding myself and setting myself up, generating my own leads, my own list that I own. I don't have to, you know, when, a lot of times when these companies go out of, go out of um, business and you're tied to them, you know, you're using their websites and everything, you know, all the list, if you have generated leads with that company, go with them. You know, so the money is in the list. You know, they say that um, your list, you look at all the names and emails and even numbers that you have, um, they could go from 48 cent to a dollar. You know, 
So if you got over ten thousand dollars, ten thousand people on your list, you should be making around ten thousand dollars a month. Okay. So I mean, just just keep these things in mind. So if you want, if you want to know how you can get yourself branded and where you won't be in that position where you could generate your own list generate your from generating your own leads um, which create creates your list and be able to um, put yourself in the position as a professional marketer and you could go anywhere use this information anywhere across the board you know, so if one company shut down or if you decide to jump, go from one company to another company for whatever reason, you won't have to start all over because of you already branded yourself, your position as a leader. So inbox me or message me and I will give you uh, some additional information. OK, so this is Mario Burr. Hope this was helpful. Make it a great day. See you in the next live. Later.